Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 12 of A Plague Tale. I think we're nearing towards the end. We're fighting against the white rats. Oh, whoa, okay. Okay, so fire can't hurt the white rats. Oh wait, so I, is that it? Is that... Unite and devour them! Listen, he's getting them to regroup! They're not stopping! The lightning is stopping them! I can do it! Really? Go on, you go! It's our only chance! Concentrate enough rats in the same area to form a cluster, okay. Okay. Yes! Well done, Hugo! We'll show him! Oh, wait. I think I know what I need to do. You have come to challenge me! Me! Vitalis Benevol! Carrier of the Prima Machina! Crushed by blood! My brother you yourself. Oh no! Oh damn it! I was too slow. Watch Beatrice. Witness the end of what remains of your lineage. Leave them alone. They're children. Wrong. They are merely relics of the old world. Stop it! And now I got it. <laughs> it looks so strange. All those rats falling, <laughs> exploding in a tornado. Mommy! Hugo! Amicia, he must not abuse his power! We're going to get you out of there! Ah! We'll take care of it! Hugo, you feel it too, don't you? But it scares you. The true power, the gift of self! I am unity! I am the blood of blood that connects all people! Get back! Stay with you guys. What the hell? Die! Become one again! And my servants shall rise toward the firmament! My angels, I know you are hungry! Soon you shall eat! I don't know! Hit him now! No! It's no, it's impossible! The you pay for here. this! Come to me! Come feed! The face blood! Incertitude! Don't you stand there, Alicia? Renewal! Unites! You Open cannot kill that which has been 
Aggressively mated! That was it? Really? There's no ending or anything? There's no end scene or something like that? Although maybe after the credits. Whew. I gotta say this last fight was really tough and at some point annoying because you had to start from the beginning as soon as you were at the end boss. You had to... There were like three stages and uh, sometimes I just died by a little bit I went too far into the white rats and then I got killed and then I had to do everything from the beginning again um, so yeah that was a plague tale innocence I gotta say I enjoyed I enjoyed it a lot um, it was sad that we lost so many of our companions uh, all of most of all Roderick I liked him very much but he sacrificed himself for us so yeah overall I gotta say it is a very pretty game it is a very pretty game and if you like um, to play those kind of games so more story driven games then it's definitely a good uh, definitely a good game it's not the mechanics and everything, it's not something groundbreaking or anything new, but to be honest, I don't need that in every game. I don't need every game to be so different. It is in the way the game does the game was, it, it's good to me and it was enjoyable to play. It was a nice story. Oh, yes, last chapter. Those were some pretty short credits. I mean, this must have been a rather small team, so all the more respect for this, because it is a really pretty game, and it's a really well-done game, in my opinion. But maybe I'm going to talk about it a little bit later. First, I want to see what the last chapter brings. All right, let's go. Have we got everything? Yes, that's all Lucas asked for. Is Mummy going to get better with this? She will be all right, Hugo. Mummy is tough, isn't she? Just like you. That's right. I can't wait for us to find a new castle. Well, <laughs> you've got the taste of a king now. We'll see what we can do. We have to leave the region first. Okay, so we're going someplace new. Things are looking up, it seems. Home? Yes, 
The nest is still there, but it's empty. <sighs> I can't believe the rats are gone for good. Let's hope they are. Oh, Misia, oh. look! Ah. You want to try your hand at shooting? Not me. My sister's really good. Right, Amicia? All right. Let's have okay. a go. Okay. Good. Good. The rule is simple. You have six stones, six possible shots. Try and shoot as many targets as possible. Are you ready? Ready. I go am. Amicia. Funny, now it's rat targets. So where are the other ones? I don't have to shoot the chickens, do I? No. Where are the last targets? Oh wait, there's one. Okay, one more. Hmm. Somewhere over there, maybe? I don't see- Oh, up there, I see it. Not bad. What? Not bad at all. Come on, you can have an apple. <laughs> Eat the apples for you, Hugo. You're my biggest supporter. Oh, thanks. I was hungry. Aww. As always. Hey, today we're celebrating the third day without rats. There's a little fair down the street. Go take a look. A fair? A real fair? I've never seen a fair before. Hugo, Lucas is waiting for us. We should be getting back. But it's a fair. Come on. Hugo. <laughs> All right. But we can't stay long. It's three days after the rats. But I wonder. I Luke? mean. Oh, that's the young boy. Oh, no. No, no, boy. You just can't come in. But why? Because you can. That's why. Hey, is there a problem? Look, the problem is a kid and his sister are wanted around here by important people. Well, we, we, we just don't want any trouble here, you understand? I can see very well. Hugo, we have to go. <laughs> but the fair... Come on. What I wanted to say is that... I mean, Hugo was a part of the reason for the rats as well, I guess. So why are the rats all gone now all of a sudden? Because, I mean, Hugo's still here. And also, who wants them? I mean, the Inquisition... We killed hey, the head of the Inquisition. The first one to arrive at the cart wins 20 apples. 20 apples? But you'll never beat me. Right, Slug? What? You see? Oh, yeah? Then on three. One. Two. Three! Hey! <laughs> Aww. I'm right behind you! Oh, he is me. fast. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You won. Yes! 20 apples! We made it, Lucas. To do everything. The St. John's what? The Hawthorne? The, all of it. Let's go. Good. Amicia? Yes? Why are they looking at me like that? Melly looked at me the same way. Then she left. Because she doesn't like me anymore. Hugo, she... She had other things to do. That's not true. But it doesn't matter. Run! <laughs> Is she going to sleep much longer? She has to get her strength back. With the herbs you bought, she'll soon be back on her feet. All right. Hey, Hugo. What? Do you think I'm pretty? <laughs> You're ugly. Really ugly. <laughs> <gasps> ugly? Me? You look like a big fat fly. A fly? Your own sister? Oh, such a slur requires punishment. <laughs> Lucas! Hey! 
Okay, okay, so it's more credits now. Um, so that was the end, and yeah, so the lines on, on Hugo's neck, they are gone as soon as I saw. But it seems like they're still wanted, but I still don't know by who, because we killed the leader of this occult inquisition, so... Who is looking for us now? And who's looking for us so fast? I mean, it's three days gone. It's very interesting and... And it leaves... It uh, leaves uh, open a lot of room for another... Uh, for a second part. I mean, I was maybe anticipating it already because you... Because the game is called A Plague Tale with the undertitle or the second title, Innocence, so... Maybe there will be another A Plague Tale, not Innocence anymore, but something else. So it would be interesting though, because Hugo still has some something of power sleeping in him, so... Maybe at some point it will come out again, maybe at some point he will not be sure whose side he's on or what he wants. Although this would be this would go a little bit into the direction of Life is Strange 2. I don't know how much I would like it. it w I think it would depend on how well it would be done, how relatable. Because, yeah. Sometimes, I don't know, maybe it's my, maybe it is easier to say in computer games, but sometimes, I don't know, Hugo was a bit of a brat. I mean, he just ran away and, I don't know, who thought he could rescue his mother on his own, but that's another story. So... Another thing that I wanted to point out about the beauty of the game itself was that I know it maybe sounds strange and maybe I'm the only one who feels that way but I appreciate it very much and I love it very much if when clothes are very well animated and that's what happened in this game. I, I love it when it's just I enjoy it very much if a, if a figure, in this case Amicia, moves in a pretty way. So like in a... I don't know. I don't know how to put it. It just makes me... it just satisfies me to see my pretty movement. And I also... and, it's, and I like it when the... When the clothes move um, according to the movement, and that was pr all the clothes was especially Amicia's, and also as I pointed out in episode one, um, the cl the dress of the mother. It was really, really well animated, and it looked so real. It was flowing around the the bodies of the characters uh, according to the movement, and I enjoy that a lot. I enjoy that watching. I. I think it is a very good game for me when I just simply enjoy watching the character run, which I did. 
So it was everything was so beautifully animated. I also like the characters because you didn't when you think about it, you didn't know that much about them, but also the interactions between the characters, it was really well written, I think. It was um it was funny still. I mean, they are children after all. I mean, there there's got to be some child in them and I loved how they got together and formed their own little group and although like I said you actually you don't really know that much about the characters but you still feel for them I was so sad when Roderick died I didn't know Arthur a lot so but it was still sad when he got murdered and I don't know it's just uh, the other characters our companions they were really um, well written and they were easy to like and it was still and it still it felt it just felt good action to to do that it wasn't like anything there weren't any weird conversations or anything it just felt very um fluent and in motion and i don't know i just i like that a lot too so that was it that was a plague tale innocence if there is a second part which i hope or which i almost guess I'm looking very much forward to it. So, um, in the meantime, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.